We have a mystery on our hands this week. The scholars in this room are the crew of the mighty ship, the Envisioneer. While in search of an ancient treasure, we're marooned on an island. And a key part of our navigational map went missing. Of our, of our crew, we considered four suspects. Today, you will be hearing the evidence against Dr. Smart and Shipwright. We will be talking about how Dr. Nicholas Smart and Shipwright Robert Neff are guilty of stealing the missing map piece. We learned how to treat fractured limbs and put splints on them. We have evidence that Dr. Smart was giving us extra things to do so we could plan to escape with Shipwright Neff. After the ship had crashed, one member had a collapsed lung. Dr. Neff, no, Dr. Smart had to immediately go treat the patient. He did this so he could cover up his tracks. This is the lung model we made to show how our lungs work and function. We have collected evidence that proves that Shipwright Neff and Dr. Smart committed the crime. Here are a few reasons why. Once the ship had crashed, Robert Neff and Sidney Young were missing. Also, they had to build a robot to get into unexplored areas of the island that no person can go to. And we even built a bridge so they could get across. Some of the evidence that we have on Dr. Smart and Shipwright Neff is that Shipwright Neff took Sydney Young under Dr. Smart's permission and took her to an unexplored part of the island that no humans can access. So with all of this evidence that we have brought to you today, we do believe, well, we have proven, that Shipwright Neff and Dr. Smart are guilty. We learned about the calf heart dissection and the snake bite analysis. When we did the calf heart dissection, we learned more about the heart so that one of our crewmates could have surgery performed because they had a heart problem. At the scene of the crime, there was a mysterious white substance that was confirmed to be cornstarch. Dr. Smart had given Neff cornstarch for his sunburn. So at the time of the crime, both of them were in possession of cornstarch. This week we have studied and analyzed two different kinds of snake bites, hemotoxic and neurotoxic. Hemotoxic snake bites do not bring hallucination. Sydney Young was bitten by a hemotoxic snake. Neurotoxic snake bites bring hallucination. Dr. Smart said that Sydney was bitten by a neurotoxic snake bite when actually she was bitten by a hemotoxic snake bite, wanting her to think that she wasn't hallucinating. So, since they made her think she was hallucinating, they made it seem like she wasn't actually kidnapped. That was how we discovered that shipwright Robert and Nicholas Smart were guilty of steal stealing the map. We, we have gathered evidence and concluded that Dr. Smart and Shipwright Neff are guilty. Dr. Nicholas Smart was witness with a large cut on his hand by Captain Thomas, captain of the Envisioneer. The blood drops were between 1.5 and 1.8 centimeters. The higher we do the blood drop, the longer the length. When we dropped from 60 cents inches, we got an average of 1.6 centimeters. When we dropped from 30 inches, we got an average of 1.5 centimeters. And when we dropped from 12 inches, we got an average of 1.3 centimeters. Like William said, that the um, blood splatter at the crime scene was between 1.5 and 1.8 centimeters, which would be the right, which would be the length of blood splatter from the height of the hand. That, that's. That concludes why we think that why we know that Shipwright Neff and Dr. Smart are guilty. In our presentation, we will be going over the evidence that we found in the forensic science field that points to Dr. Smart and uh, Shipwright and Neff's guilt. Let's start off with Neff's guilt. He had been given permission and had been directly given cornstarch from Dr. Smart for his sunburn. Neff's fingerprint was found. Neff's 
fingerprints was found on the cups at the crime scene. Next on to Dr. Smart's guilt. He, w he had a stash of cornstarch. So that is the evidence we found in the forensic science field leads to Dr. Smart and Shipwright Neff's guilt.